Good afternoon everyone, welcome to another set of videos in which we continue to learn Business Central and today's video is going to be very quick, it will teach you how you can default a set of uh, criteria, a set of guidelines that you can place on vendors or customers or items for that matter. So today we will be creating templates and this is a template uh, depending on where you assign it, it will uh, kick in set of criteria that we will set and every time you create a vendor or create an item or uh, create a customer it will take that criteria and initiate its commands so without further ado let's go right into what I mean by templates so we will search templates and the very first link is what we're going to create these are the templates that were created by Business Central so when you install Business Central and you created a company uh, instead of you creating a company without any data uh, you simply take in the data from the uh, Business Central standard uh, configuration. Uh, so the templates uh, were already configured for a user to explore. So I will be taking this example. So I will not be creating a new template because I'm just trying to give you an idea how we can utilize uh, configuration templates. So I'll go right into the item card. Uh, once you click the item card, in your case, uh, we will just create, click new and create a card and we will assign that card to uh, a vendor's customers or items or whoever you want or whichever field you want to uh, have these configuration templates assigned to. So in our case, now we will take the item card, we are going to assign the temp template name as item, we will enable it and we can assign a number series. So number series in this uh, case would be uh, creating a number series and then you assign to each item so every time a user creates an item it will kick in this number series so if the first item was 1a for instance the user does not need to uh, create a number uh, for the next item so if there is a number series assigned to the configuration template of an item it will kick in a 1b for instance or 1c and it will continue to increment as we have uh, assigned the number series for uh, next, uh, if you would like to actually assign dimensions for each item that you create, a dimension uh, is populated uh, and it's really useful for vendors and customers. So whenever you create a vendor or customer, you know which dimension, universal dimension, it needs to get assigned to, then you can create dimensions as well. So you go to master data and then you assign a dimension. So in this case, the business central has not created any dimensions or has not assigned any dimension. So if they would have done it, then every time you create an item, it will assign the dimension automatically. So every time you use that item in a journal line, uh, then the dimension will kick right in by default and it will auto populate that a journal line header. If we continue with this package or with this template, and you can do the item setup, for instance, uh, the type is inventory, so it will automatically go to inventory. And the pricing, you can fix pricing for a particular item uh, even the cost and uh, you can actually assign a cost associated with it and then also the financial details so uh, this would um, take into account any tax group codes uh, that you have configured and you can assign them to these items uh, even the product posting groups are there so in this case it's retail and we can go uh, a little bit deeper into these posting groups if you have, do not know what posting groups are I have a video uploaded for posting groups as well and uh, it can teach you how you can configure posting groups uh, so in that case we do talk about vendors posting groups and customer posting groups and items posting groups so uh, this uh, video is just meant to be short it's supposed to simply teach you about configuration templates and uh, now you know what configuration templates are and how you can use them so I will see you in the next video.